Crankshaft. This crankshaft, it's, it belongs to a friend of mine, all right, that I'm building his engine. I sent it for polishing because there was some rust on it. And there was some rust also here. Okay, forget about this. There are two problems. One, if it was missing a couple of things for a stock application, it will be fine. Second, even for the stock application, it will not gonna be fine. I'm going to show you why. Let, let, me put, let me turn on the computer to show you exactly what I mean. From this side, it looks nice, right? Now, if I turn it, it's a completely different story. Here, you might get away with that. Okay. Here, it's not the best. You see, it has some cavities. And here, front. I'm gonna show you in a while. Okay. It's true, it's straight. It's not been bent or whatever. It's not, uh, let us say, the journals are on specs. But, but, let me put over there and I'm gonna show you why I'm saying what I'm saying. Ah, there's, nah, that's the big one. That's the one. It's not about it's not about that it's gonna compromise the bearing. It's about that has let us say like a crack that's much more easy. If if let us say if I have to guess where it's gonna crack this crankshaft, let us say if you push it to the limit, this will gonna be the number one point, if you like. If you get my point, just a second, just a second. Let me turn on the computer to put it over there to show you what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. All right, this one, it's this one. Let me put this here. Okay, I'm talking about this. This is one, there is another one. This side here. And there is another one there. I'm talking about here. Here on this side, here, for a stock application, it's gonna run fine. It's not gonna have any problem. It's not gonna have any problems. It depends who you're asking, anyhow. In the middle, it's not the best. Okay, you're gonna tell me, okay, there is a, a channel for the oil pressure. Yeah, but the lower bearing does have a channel. Only the upper has the channel. So it's gonna compromise the lower bearing on a cold start, let us say, or if you keep it, let us say, uh, for a week and it need a little bit time to build up oil pressure. When you have some imperfections like this on the journal, you're gonna start eating the lower bearing. So and you have also this here. For me, I don't feel comfortable closing an engine with this crankshaft, especially upgrade engine. I'm not talking about stock engine. Stock engine, even for stock engine, <laughs> it's not gonna be the ideal. So, for me, it's gonna be much better if we get a used crankshaft, polished to be nice, to don't have any corrosion, any damage from corrosion or something. But that's me. Just give me a second. Give me a second. All right, let's place it this way. On the number one. I can't feel it, unfortunately. Okay, that was the number one. Has anything else? No. Number two. Yeah, there is one small spot here, but nothing crazy. 
Uh, number two clean. Number three. Number three. Fine. Number four we already saw. The number four. Number five. It's okay. So the biggest problem is on the number one and the number four. Okay, for the connecting rods, doesn't matter now because we have on the main. Here you have this piece. This is a good lesson for the people that they have a crankshaft and they're storaging outside without wrapping it, without putting some grease or some burn oil, it can come uh, rusty, it can have corrosion. And even if you polish it, there is no oversized bearings. There is no 0.25 bearings. But even, yeah, okay, yeah, 0.25 is gonna be everything clean, but there is no bearings available. You have to order custom bearings. <sighs> yeah, okay, that's it. That's, like I said, this for the customer, this for my friend. To watch the video and tell me what to do. I, I wish to have another crankshaft, but I close all the engines and I don't have a crankshaft for a, for this engine. Yay! That's it. Thank you. Yep.